What are your first memories of meeting Hulk Hogan back when he was Sterling Gold then? Well, he come into Panama City Beach and uh, we worked for Ron Fuller. He come in there and uh, he was green as a uh, big guy, big, huge guy, but knew nothing. And uh, we become friends and, you know, he, I started working out with him because I never was a person to work out. And uh, I'd give him his shots, his steroid shots, because he couldn't reach around to take them, you know, and all that. And I told him, I said, boy, these things are going to kill you. You're taking more than a racehorse. And yeah, but I want to, you know, I'm hanging and banging. And when they carry me out, I want these uh, guns hanging out of the casket. Well, they will be hanging out of the casket and you with it, you know. But you couldn't talk to him. But we were good friends for probably 15 years and worked out all the time together. And he stayed at my house when he come down. He didn't have no money to get a room sleeping in his van. So uh, my wife and me said, come on in and sleep in our extra room. And, you know, and we become good friends. And then Vance told him either Schultz or me, because he started whining that I was too rough on him and that I was going to beat him in a, a, a live TV show and take the belt. And, uh, uh, you know, I, you had to treat him like a kid, man. You say, you big dummy. Why, you, you know, I mean, yeah. uh, I'm not going to beat you in the middle of the ring. I, I can beat you any time I get ready. That might be harder to do than you think. Oh, really? And I'd grab him in his own living room and throw him on the floor and we'd start, you know. But, you know, he never was a, uh, he never was a wrestler. I mean, never was a, uh, uh, if he got a hold of you, he was powerful, he was strong, but he didn't know how to get a hold of you. So if you knew any moves at all, you could out wrestle him, you know. Right. But his cardio probably wasn't too good either. No, I'd imagine. no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> now I read Bret Hart's book, and I I thought that was interesting at the time that I read it that he claimed that uh, Hogan beat you in a little amateur scuffle, uh, but you addressed that yourself in your book. So what, yeah. why do you think Bret came up? With I that? think he got uh, uh, carried away because the guys was uh, in the dressing room. I remember it was in Baltimore. I believe it was. And me and Hogan always was scuffling, like I told you, on, in his house, you know. We'd always, uh, and the guys didn't know what was going on. Oh my God, it's Schultz and Hogan, they're having it out tonight or whatever. And I think it's kind of like what Vince thought too, because we were, the guys didn't know what we were doing. And, uh, you know, come on. I told Brett, I said, Brett, you're mistaken. There's no two men the size of me and Hogan. I was 300 pounds can fight for 45 minutes <laughs> you it can't be done yeah and he, he said yeah well it, uh, it wasn't supposed to be for I think it was a misprint and they let it go and uh, Brett got tied up in the moment because Brett knows that Hogan could have never never ever beat me he couldn't beat my wife <laughs> let alone me but doesn't sound like you could be your wife. No, I couldn't. I, mean, I just fixed it to say you didn't let me finish. I can't be your either, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we was all, uh, I mean, uh, Hogan, uh, he was one of the closest friends I ever had. And then he dropped me like, boom, that, when Vince told him. And uh, you learn later on, you know, most of your friends will stab you in the back and twist the knife. And it will happen. And people say, oh, no, it won't happen. Oh, yes. Believe me, it will happen. Especially in the wrestling business. That's right. The wrestlers, hey, they will lie to you, and the promoters will lie and promise and tell. I don't know how many times I've been told, hey, kid, stay right here. We got you. We going to put the belt on. You're going to be the champion. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they want to remove you to Knoxville. And you, you go over there, and they got big plans for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're gonna move you to Oregon. They got big plans for you. You're doing good. They need a guy out there. You, you know, mm. never happens. You have called Hulk Hogan a liar and a coward. Why? Why do you think he's a coward? Uh, he's a coward. He just. I mean, I don't think he'd fight. I've never seen him in a street fight, and we hung out together all the time. We rode together and everything. And he just, uh, you know. Now maybe he just didn't want to. Uh, I don't think uh, he wanted to be confronted by nobody. And I think when I got rough with him in the ring, he told Vince that I was going to beat him on national TV for the belt. 
And I said, why would you tell Vince that? I said, well, you're out here, you're hooking me on different things, you're saying this in the ring, you're saying, I got you. And then I let him go, you know, I mean, he don't want to mess the match up. He knew I had him, I didn't have to tell him. And um, he was weak-minded. Hogan was very weak, very weak-minded about things. You could really, uh, you know, tell him the sky is falling. He started looking up and ducking, you know what I mean? <laughs> he just, uh, you know. And Vince, <clears throat> Vince Sr. is the one with uh, Stallone, that, that was his break. And then Junior jumped in there and told him, hey, you stay by. They wouldn't even let Hogan dress with the guys. They had him his own private dressing room and, you know. And I said, what? He making him just all together stay away from us. Just like they do in any other sport. Football, baseball, they keep the quarterbacks away from everybody, pitchers away from everybody. That makes you wonder, are they controlling the game? I mean, you know, basketball really, uh, you know, you can bet on basketball, go out here. I always said that all professional sports are fixed. I've always said that. I can't prove it, but how can you bet on a basketball game and they give you three points? and you lose by five. A basketball game, I mean, where points are scored. Yeah. <laughs> and baseball, you know, I mean, the pitcher is the one controls who hits home runs. I mean, to me, I think it would be. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just me talking old age and old wise guy that, you know, understand all this, you know. And boxing, I mean, uh, I think a lot of the boxing are real. I don't know if Cassius Clay and, and Muhammad Ali was real. Uh, I don't even think they seen that punch. But then you had to know Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali, how fast he was, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> but there's always that Sonny Liston fight. That yeah, Sonny Liston, that's, yeah, Sonny Liston and Ali, yeah. yeah.